Okay guys, we're going to go over uh, some things from the beginning of the year. We're going to go over sig figs and scientific notation. Uh, sig figs, let's just start with something simple. Say you have the number 15. Okay, and the number 15, uh, there are two significant figures. Okay, the number 150, there are just two sig figs because this zero is insignificant because it's known as a trailing zero. Zeros that occur at the end of a number are insignificant. Okay, so the number 1500 is still just two sig figs. Now, let's say you have the number 15.0. Now, when you get a decimal in there, things uh, are different. Here, there are three sig figs. Now, this zero is not trailing anymore because it is on the back end, but that decimal changes everything. We don't know if this number was rounded up to get 15.0 or if it was rounded down to get 15.0. Therefore, they took time out to measure out one decimal, one number behind the decimal for a particular reason, so therefore it must be important. So therefore that's the reason why that's not a trailing zero, but these other ones up here are. Okay, so if you have 15.01, that is also for sig figs. Now, if you have the number 15, uh, 1501, that is still for sig figs as well because notice that this zero is trapped. If this zero is trapped, it becomes significant. So basically, the number uh, 1001 is also for sig figs. Now, let's look at some other numbers. These are all big numbers because, you know, even the number one is big because it still has one sig fig. Any number one or more is considered a big number. Now, if you have the following number, 0 0.0015, that number uh, is a small number and uh, it has two sig figs. Now, the reason why it only has two sig figs is these zeros in the front are known as leading zeros. They're insignificant but the last two numbers are important so therefore there's two sig figs. Now once again if you had 0 0.00150 how many sig figs is that? Well it's three sig figs because these zeros are still leading zeros but these last set of numbers are important because uh, we don't know if to get this number if they rounded up or rounded down but they took time out to measure out that far behind the decimal so it's important. So remember these are known as trailing, uh, excuse me, these are known as leading zeros, these are known as trailing zeros. Okay, so that's the difference in those. Now, uh, let's say you had uh, the following number, 0 0.010, that's two sig figs. So if you say it's, it's pretty much makes sense once you do a few of these, you know, just to let you know. Anyway, now let's look at scientific notation. Now, when you do scientific notation on these, uh, these significant figures become important. Okay, you need to be able to tell the number of sig figs to be able to write the number, uh, the number in scientific notation correctly. Now, those of you that are not familiar with scientific notation might have forgot it. I'll show you an example. Let's say you have the number uh, 1500. Okay, and you want to write that in scientific notation. Well, you would have to know the number of sig figs, which there's two. And then after you figure that out, you can write a scientific notation. Now, the, the two important numbers are the ones at the front, the one and the five. So you'll write down those two numbers, the one and the five. Now, scientific notation, you got to put a number in the front of the decimal. Okay, so I'll put the decimal there between the two numbers. Now, the number in the front cannot be a zero. Okay, so there's the 1.5. After you do that, you write down times 10. And you got to figure out how many spots you move the decimal. Well, currently you don't see a decimal, so therefore it must be behind the zero. So that's one, two, three moves. And that's a positive three. Now let me explain to you why it's a positive three. It's a positive three because it's a big number, meaning it's one or more. Okay. For example, we had the number 15 while ago, right here, and it was two sig figs. So you would write down 1.5 times 10 and since it's one or more you would say that uh, it's to the well, look how many times you moved it you move it from there to there you would say that that is one swing subject to the power of one and you wouldn't have to write it technically now let's look at another one let's say you had 
this number right here, which was the 15.01. Now we said earlier that that was for sig fig. So when you get ready to write this, in scientific notation, it would be 1.501 times 10 to the, you moved it one time to the first. Okay, and let's do another one. Let's say you had uh, the number uh, 50, uh, I don't know, this one. Let's say we had this one. You got a uh, 150,300, and you want to know what that number is in scientific notation. Well, there are only uh, one, two, three, four sig figs here. These other two zeros are trailing, so that's four sig figs. Now, scientific notation, you'd use just the four significant figures. So we know to write down 1.503. Remember, the decimal's got to go in between the front two numbers that are not a zero, meaning the first one cannot be zero. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's fine. Anyway, this is times 10 to the what power? Well, right here is the decimal because you don't see it. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the positive 5 right there. And that's how you do scientific notation of big numbers. Now let's see some small ones. Okay, this one was 0 0.0015. Okay, that is two sig figs. So once again, the 1 and the 5 are important. Put the decimal between the first two numbers that are significant. Okay, and write down times 10. Now since it's a small number, it's a negative power. Now the easiest way to get this number here, instead of counting the number of swings you do, as long as there's a zero in front of the decimal, just count the number of zeros you got. That's one, two, three. So that'd be a negative three. But if you want to see it done properly, you swing the decimal one, two, three times. That's why it's negative three. Now, let's say you had zero point zero 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 one seven zero. Okay. Now in this one, there is only three sig figs. So you write down those three, and remember put the decimal between the first two numbers that are not a zero in the front, and there it is, 1.70. You go ahead and write down times 10, and you count the number of zeros in the front. Notice they've got a zero in the front here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make sure you count them right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that'll be to the negative 6 since it's less than 1. All right, and this is the last one of the evening. Let's say you got 0 0.01. Zero, and they want you to write down scientific, uh, scientific notation. Uh, two sig figs, which are right here. Okay, so that's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative, and that was one two swings. Notice the connection between the number of zeros in the front like this. Just make sure that if you're going to do it this way by counting zeros, that there is a zero in front of that decimal. If it's not, make sure you put it there, and then you count the zeros. Alright guys, I hope this helps, and good luck.